Hi, welcome back to my API TD series. I am Varma. I am an animation and this is the tools programmer. In this episode, I am going to show you how to develop a simple C++ plugin that creates a polygonal sphere and polygonal cube. And also in this tutorial, we will cover the basics of developing a plugin inside C++ and write the core functionality there and using the PySide and Python to create the UI and hook those together. Let's jump back to the Maya and I will show you the results. My plugin manager over here, Paul and Box Creator Plugin. MLL. This is the plugin that is I'm going to create and show you. This plugin implements two more commands, ball and box. If you call the ball from command line, it just creates the polygonal sphere and as well if you call the box it just creates the epic cube or polygonal cube and also develop a PySide to python ui it is using the the same plugin but this ui will call the commands for you instead of the typing over here if you click on this create ball just creates those sphere and if you click on the box it creates the polygonal cube and yeah let's jump back to the visual studio here is the c++ code for the plugin in my plugin main.cpp file i have included all the needed headers this episode is actually the continuation of my previous episodes if you want to know how to set up visual studio and pycharm for maya development please check my previous videos those links are in the description here mfn plugin header is crucial and start point of the, the plugin and it provides the functionality to register and deregister of the commands like what we can do here for example the commands and nodes etc things the m global include is the namespace it provides the utility functions just like displaying some uh, display info, error messages, etc. things. And M object is a very crucial and key part of the My API that is provides the base classes for the dependency graph DG and the dependency node DN objects in, in the Maya. It represents a solid handle to an object in Maya scene. Let's say a polygonal cube or polygonal sphere and it provides methods and functions for querying and manipulating those data so here i have included the needed headers and the my commands are split into the ball and box commands i will show you in a moment here if you see i define my ball command as ball and box command as box and in initialization of plugin, initialize plugin, and I'm feeding the required information, for example, the animforge and my name, and the plugin version 0.1. And I'm creating an MFN plugin instance by feeding all this information. Here you can see the, I'm registering the actual ball command with the, the creator function of that class and here also registering another box command with the create creator function of the box and what the m status is is a specifically for the c++ api when you execute something it returns m status it tells the system whether this is success or not if it is fail means m status is false and i'm going to emit an error if it is uh, in normal condition it should not fail it will success so it just emits the display info the plugin has been initialized and as well as in uninitialized plugin function i'm going to deregistering all the existing commands for the ball and box and i'm just checking the the status information as well okay let's jump back to maya and i will explain how the plugin works here is the ball and box creator.mll plugin. If you check this little checkbox, it shows you that the plugin has been initialized. 
and if you uncheck this one this shows to the same in up uninitialized way okay these two are emitting from this code plugin has been initialized and plugin has been uninitialized let's jump back to the ball and box commands this ball and box commands are very simple i'm extending the mpx command with the create ball command this creator function static void start creator is similar to the get instance of the class and this is an interface actual interface method whenever you create a custom command the do it method will get executed so in the implementation file as you see this creator just returns the a new instance of the create ball command and here the for the box it just returns the create box command in the implementation of do it function in the ball command i'm just going to creating a, a polygonal sphere with the m global execute command and it returns the m status and checking the status and returning that one and i'm also doing the same for the polygonal cube it is a rather simple plugin it just encapsulates the creation of poly sphere and poly cube in my own terms of ball and box commands okay let's jump back to the my end and i would like to make sure that it is unloaded and if you want to know about the properties i would like to show you one thing in the post build event i'm going to copy my output file into the mys plugins directory directly uh, this is the command lines parameters that i'm sending the command line it just copies my plugin creator.mll to my maya 2024 plugins directory i make sure the plugins directory name properly it is plugin hyphen ins otherwise maya won't detect the plugin so once you do everything correct and then go build and rebuild the command it should go fine and you can check the the file has been copied and you can find the file over here in documents maya 2024 plugins the ball and box creator now go back to the plugin manager you can see find the plugin manager over here and then i create the self shelf button and in box creator just click on the load and unload the plugin and if you click on the load if you type ball it just creates the ball as it should and box and another poly box yep okay now let's discuss about how to create any ui to glue those functions uh this is a, a basic as other simple ui which just uses the the ball and box created at mlll plugin behind that thing in stuff typing functions and commands here it allows you to press the buttons to create those things and if you press the create ball it just creates the ball and then box will do obviously creates the box and it is a simple python UI made with the Python and PySight too. Here is the Python code to create the ball and box creator. It just imports everything that is required, like uh, PySight to from Qt Pictures and Shibokan, because I need uh, the main Maya window to parent this small dialog box. Uh, it is rather simple. Just creates the two buttons, create ball and box, and a connecting. these two functions for these buttons it, what it basically do is it just calls the command start ball and command start box that is that's it so if you create this one it click on this one yeah okay i hope you learned something very useful on how to develop a simple c++ plugin and call those functions with the pyset to ui That's wrap up the lesson. Thank you.